we're creating so much wealth, but we can't put enough into healthcare because our budget is tight. Why is our budget tight? Former Sungai Siput MP Dr. Michael Jayakuma is calling for a review of tax policies to support the public health care system amid concerns over its sustainability. Public health care in Malaysia is heavily subsidised by the government, but there are fears Pushajaya may not be able to continue doing this for long due to higher costs and limited funds. Jayakuma, the Party Socialist Malaysia chairman, said the problem is that wages have not increased as much as they should have despite the growth of the economy. If you look back in 1970, our GDP then was 11.8 billion. In 2019, 50 years later, it was 1,513 billion. After making those adjustments, uh, inflation, which is about 520% over those 50 years, the GDP actually went up 24 fold in real terms. At the same time, the average worker in a factory, their wages went up only 1.4 times. Wealth is increasing, but it's being captured by the very, very rich. You've got to strategize. He said much of the country's wealth has been concentrated in the hands of a few. And this was why the government should impose higher taxes on the rich to better fund health care for the poor. Savings from subsidy rationalisation and reduced spending, as well as revenues from taxes on luxury goods, should also be channeled to public health care. Sam Uchwa, FMT News.